was diagnosed with epilepsy about four years ago and it comes with a lot of uh, reasonable accommodation, right? So as a graduate now, as myself, I was in the job market last year looking as to where I would be able to go into the market and one of my fears was that I would not be given reasonable accommodation or that would be to my detriment uh, in, a, in an interview to see like, okay, uh, maybe she won't be able to cope with the workload, she won't meet her goals or expectations or deliverables. So there was this fear. <laughs> um, but then I was lucky enough to have a great manager who really is a proponent of reasonable accommodation and how I got involved in the Disability Careers Expo is I wish I had the opportunity to be exposed to something like this where corporates and NGOs and other companies have the opportunity to network with people with disabilities, specifically students, and showcase to them that they actually care and that they're willing to learn from the students to see what they need as well. And I think that uh, stifles a lot of the fear and also breaks some stigma around people with disabilities and that we are capable of working, we are capable of being successful people and that our difference should not be devalued, it should be celebrated. From my perspective, in my masters, I'm also focusing on disability theory. So the essence of that is to actually see how people with disabilities are treated within reality. And I think something that is so important is that we can't separate the workplace from the community. Um, they need to speak and I think something like this, like the Disability Careers Expo, they force people to speak together and to actually see how the people who are on the ground, who are not in corporate, how they can help corporate, but also how corporate can use their power within the ec economy to actually foster a culture because it's one thing for you to be accepted in the workplace, but that extends over or flows over into your community. So I think it's so important to not separate the two. It must be inclusive in the workplace, which can flow over into the community, but we need to listen to the people with disabilities within the community in order to make it a better workplace. Sure, a lot of companies are getting on board with assistive technologies, with seeing how to accommodate people within the workplace. I know of companies that uh, actually really like they'll train up their employees uh, on how to deal with someone who has epilepsy if they have a seizure. Uh, they are again like corporates are starting to design their buildings around how it can be wheelchair friendly, etc. And uh, I think that despite the horrible circumstances of COVID, what it has proven is that people can work remotely and the opportunity to work remotely is something that disabled activists have been fighting for years. So this is a chance for corporate to embrace that model and to say that people can work productively from home, which I think is a, a big uh, opening for disabled people to also join into the workforce. But yeah, there's always more to do. And I think the more we expose people to disability, teach them about disability, the more open and responsive they will be to what the actual, what the community needs. As a person with a disability myself, oh, I don't have hair as well, and I have like other weird body issues. Uh, <laughs> um, it was just this incredible, incredible opportunity to give these kids the opportunity that they can see that they are valuable, that they will be able to get a job, that they can be anything. Um, and that's what really drew me because I wish, like I said, I wish I had that, that knowledge beforehand and not to have had that anxiety and that fear that I experienced last year based because of my disability. These kids are absolutely incredible. That difference must be absolutely celebrated. They're so happy and I think there's a perception that your quality of life is lower if you're a disabled person. This is just a common misconception and the stigmatization of people with disabilities. And these kids are absolutely proving it wrong just in being here and being themselves and dancing and singing and being happy. Um, and that they're here, they want to have these opportunities, they want to go into banking, they want to go into IT, into insurance, go into beauty school and to see that is just such a, a testament to that the quality of life as who they are is, is, is incredible.